So some people have called me the automation king, and you can hear with the stutter in my voice, <clears throat> there's no way anyone calls me that. But I do know a few things about the different tools that are out there, as I have paid hundreds of dollars a month in automation software for the past year. Make.com is something that I've used in tandem with Zapier for a long time. However, these are the three reasons that I think Make.com is significantly better than Zapier. Numero uno, Make.com is better than Zapier because of pricing. Now, this is something that shouldn't be a surprise to any of you, but when it comes to make.com, the free plan gives you what's called a thousand operations per month. This is like each step inside of an automation. And then the core plan for my $9 a month is 10,000. Now, make.com and Zapier work in two fundamentally different ways. However, when you look at Zapier, you just go, excuse me, what? when you compare the two. First of all, on the starter plan, you still only get 20 zaps, which is 20 automations. And on the starter plan, so the core plan over here, which is cheaper, you get unlimited active scenarios. Now, the main thing to point out here is that this is a significantly amount more of steps in a row that you can take. So if you're not looking for things that instantly are going to go off, like for example, with a 15 minute update time or a two minute update time for the professional version, which once again is ridiculously expensive and has way less tasks. You end up getting a much better bang for your buck when it comes to make.com. I have always been concerned about this discrepancy and the main reason that Zapier I think has a step ahead of make.com is because they are able to get more integrations on average. Uh, make.com is not necessarily at the same level of how many integrations it has. However, I will say my second main reason that make.com is better is because it actually has a view that I can digest. When we go into either of my different platforms here, what's really interesting is the fact that you can have something that looks really nice or confusing in make.com, but the options inside of Zapier are just kind of gross. For example, when I go into an automation in YouTube, we'll see that very simply after a YouTube video is posted, there's some formatting done, a database item is created, and then from there, we have this little split path situation where if it had a short URL or a long URL, two different steps of action can happen. Now, I have to click inside of here and I don't know about you, but this just is, it's crowded. It doesn't look good. I don't like the way it looks. I, I, I can't look at both of the steps in parallel and I can't adjust things as well. Only recently did Zapier allow you to essentially move things out of order inside of this. Like for example, reordering, I mean, it's just a new thing. And once again, it doesn't really look great. It's a little confusing. Can't see both of these at the same time, really. Uh, how about no? When it comes to make.com, how about yes? Because even when I look at something as confusing as this, at least I'm able to see multiple different routes of automations go, right? So uh, I'm able to essentially have a visual builder here where I can see, okay, this is the base where I have audio transcription is captured, then I can get the text, and then I can send it to different directions based off the content type I want. Now, do you know what you can do in Zapier? You can do this and then duplicate a path. But once again, you cannot see them. And when you duplicate it, it causes issues in all of these in a row, all of these errors, basically saying like, I don't get it, test me again. Do you know how complicated it is to do something like that and make? Trick question, it's not. Watch this, if I hold down shift and select, and then I copy and paste, and then you can press allow there. Wow, now I can take this, put this here. If I drag it, wow, look at that. There's no errors and I can still see both. So this is a double bonus for two and three. One is the fact that it's visual and that I can like zoom in, move around, copy and duplicate stuff. But the second thing is just routers, okay? Like routers are amazing. So what a router is in make.com is this, but you're able to essentially add a skew when something happens. So if I were to say, hmm, I want this to skew in a different direction based off of some sort of filter. It's much easier to digest this. And like I showed, you can copy and paste parts of it and move it to the other one and then adjust, right? But then you have whatever the heck this path situation is. And it's just gross for advanced automations. I just think this is more gross. Like dealing with this builder. I, I don't know. I'm not able to visualize anything. I'm not gonna be like, Ooh, where is it supposed to go? which I feel like when you're doing a workflow, why does this not look like a workflow and it just looks like, I don't, I don't even know what it looks like. I, I, I have nothing. Actually, I, I got none. Do, do you know what it looks like? Because to me, it just looks like a stack of cards, which if I'm going through a process, doesn't necessarily allow me to think about it in a certain way. 
and thinking through how a workflow works usually is like someone gets on a whiteboard and they're like, oh, I'm going to draw stuff. And then it goes like here, then it goes here, then it branches off with a router here. Now, why the heck would I want to just see it in this like weird stack situation? Like you give a visual aspect to Zapier, I'd give it a lot of credit. Maybe it'd have a little bit more power. But when you take in pricing, you take in the visual builder, and then you take in the fact that routers are able to like duplicate different paths like you have in Zapier and they don't have the errors and you don't need to redo everything. You just adjust something like the filter and then adjust the requisite materials. And we just have a better option to make in my opinion. I'm able to do much more and do it a lot more visually appealing and ultimately have a better understanding of how my automations work in make.com than in Zapier. And I do use both products, but those are some of the reasons I think make.com is better than Zapier. Just like I think you might be better off checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.